The Vole and Mouse Party have voted unanimously to stay here. When our guide Toad lost his way, the other animals began to lose faith in the perilous journey. Badger, they've all lost faith in me. The voles and field mice elected to stay behind with their newborn babies. But a butcher bird took the infants. And so their parents sadly agreed to join us once more. I'm sorry, Badger. I was wrong. Many whispered that such disaster would not have happened had Fox been with us. But was he even alive? I've not hunted for ages. Because of the oath, I suppose. Yes. Nice to be back to normal. Have it all. I'm not really hungry. Foxes hunt, but we're also hunted. Has it happened to you? No, but I've often heard the horn blow. I suppose it will be my turn one day. No, I'm here now. I'll protect you. Thank you. But what you're already doing is so noble. You think so? I do. Such restraint. To protect the weaker animals you would normally hunt. And to lead them on a journey. Noble? I hadn't looked at it quite like that before. Oh? How had you looked at it? As a nuisance. I wish I could stay with you. You couldn't desert the other animals. Oh. But I'll keep you company. At least till you found them again. It's just that I've never met a creature quite like you before. And I just like to... What is it? The owl reminded me of someone. Owl? Have you seen Fox's friends? Not many foxes in the woods these days. No, not foxes. A party of all kinds of creatures traveling together. A toad, a kestrel, a mole, rabbits, mice, an owl. Oh, now you mention it, I did have a lengthy conversation with another owl recently. Claimed they were traveling to some nature reserve, if you please. Was there a badger with them? Well... Now you come to mention it. He's safe? Large as life. Which direction were they heading for? Your owl was rather obscure about that. Sounds familiar. They can't be far away. What are you waiting for? The sooner I find them, the sooner I lose you. Come on. <laughs> This way, mateys! Keep close together now. No stragglers! Can't take any chances with that butcher bird still about. Kestrel! It's quite safe. No sign of him. And the corpse is in sight. Oh, thank goodness for that. Oh, dear. Badger. Badger. What is it, Moly? Can I get down, please? Whatever for? Well, well I, I just think I'd like to walk for a change. Just hold on, Moly. Not much further. No, but Toad's managing, even without Fox to ride on. And I'm sure if he can, I can. Wait till we get to the top. There's a good chap. Yes, but... But... Do stop pulling, Mole. Just stay put. You're no trouble, you know. Badger! In fact, I hardly notice you're there. Oh, dear. Of course, if it wasn't for us rabbits, all this grass would be sky high. Eh, I thought it was the sheep who kept it down. Oh, no. I don't see any sheep. Do you see any sheep? See? It's rabbits! Yeah. Well, I always thought rabbits must be some use, but I couldn't think for the life of me what it was. <laughs> oh, dear. Looks like Moly's lost his transports. Poor little Moly's lost his way! Oh, 
shut up. I sleep better. Excuse me. Sorry. Come on, dear. We're going to a cops. Trees, trees. Wait for me. What does he want us to see? Stop fussing, Mother. And do keep up. Help! I can't see! We've no time for sightseeing. Come along. Help! Help! Not far now. Oh, it'll be so good to see them again. There. I knew you'd be glad. And won't they be surprised? I can't wait to introduce you to them all. You are lucky to have so many friends. I've never had many. You could now, if you'd stay with me, as my mate. I couldn't stay with anyone until they'd proved themselves. But I'm not saying no. I'll decide as we go along. In that case, let's get going. What's happened? The Saints divided. Perhaps they split into two groups. They wouldn't do that. No! Then which way? <laughs> they turned. Then, later on, they must have doubled back. Something could have been chasing them. Or they got lost. Hmm. And now, if we choose the wrong way, we're going to waste a lot of time. In that case, there's only one thing we can do. You and I must split up each following a different trail. If you discover you're on the wrong track, hurry back to join me. And if I'm on the wrong track... You'd be such a help to our bunch of travellers. You will come back, won't you? I couldn't bear to lose you. Not now. You may not have to. See, Moly, <laughs> it wasn't so far. They do say, Badger, that talking to oneself is the very first sign of madness. What do you mean, talking to myself? I was talking to Mole. Here, Mole. Mole, where are you? Here, Badger. There, what did I tell you? <laughs> oh! It seems that Mole has disappeared. Oh, no. Strike! Strike! Did you do this? Easy pickings. I bet. Why are you so upset? You're as bad as that stupid badger, you. Badger? Yeah, and the hare. <laughs> All sorts there were. Whole bunch of lunatics moaning, going on. And all because of a few mice. I ask you. Which way did they go? That way. Why? You hungry, like? Hungry? Why, you punk. Thanks. Thanks. Nobody said anything so nice to me in ages. <laughs> I, Ike, good hunting. Have a mate? Yes. And a family, too. Don't you miss your freedom? Haven't the time. Much too busy. I see. <sighs> I used to like walking alone in the morning dew. And now? And now I don't know what to do. Vixen? Is he brave and true? Probably. <laughs> ah, if you don't try, you'll never know. Thank you, Thrush. Good luck.
You were lost. I'm sorry, Badger. You were so tired, and I did so want to help. <laughs> and oh dear, I always end up being such a nuisance. <laughs> I'm sorry. Oh, I am sorry. <laughs> it's all right. At least you're safe. Did you see the hunt? Yes, don't worry. We'll be all right up here. I hope there aren't any foxes about. <sighs> so do I, Molly. So do I. across the path of the hounds when they were after another fox, a vixen. He'd put himself in terrible danger to save her. <laughs> Kestrel! What's happening? The vixen hasn't escaped. Some of the hounds are following her too. Now they are both in trouble. is in the 
clearing now. Heading off the rest. Oh, no. The hounds can see him. Don't panic. If only the rabbits hadn't panicked, none of this would ever have happened. The past is past, Toad. I can't bear it. <laughs> My husband. Oh, never mind him. What about Fox? Remember the oath. We must all stand together and fight. But we'll be torn to pieces. Oh, Fox. He's so tired. The knot can get him, are they? Prepare yourselves, everyone. Kestrel, Owl, is there anything we can do? We can try to head them off. In certain circumstances, attack is the only form of defence. Get on with it, then! <laughs> On you all. It's all right, Fox. The riders have turned back. You're safe. They've gone after the other poor fox. Oh no! I've failed her. Who, Fox, old boy? The vixen I met on my way back to you. I wanted her to be my mate. Ooh. Ooh, poor fox. <laughs> I'm sorry, I didn't realize. I bet she gets away. Three to one on. Any takers? Weasel, will you shut up? I've failed her. No, no. She's out of the wood. They're coming this way. Whoops. You can make it. 
you poor thing. You're going to be safe. Oh, she's going to be safe. <laughs> They're calling off the hunt. But why did the horse rear up? I saw a snake strike at the horse's leg. Ada. Ada? Ada! <laughs> Where is she? Oh, yes, it was. Oh, no, it wasn't. <laughs> it was some other stupid snake. <laughs> it was Adder, all right. Hooray! Hooray for Adder! Hooray! I'll never live this down. I know what you did, heading them off. I couldn't bear to think of you. And those hounds. You risked your life for me. Were you... Were you on your way back to me? Yes. Does that mean? I would be honored to be your mate. Oh, I'm so happy. Welcome, my dear. You're one of us now. <laughs>